Hi everyone, David here with a quick review of a 7 inch monitor I purchased from FPV model. Okay, let's open it up. It's protected by foam. That's the monitor there. Okay, it's in the plastic bag. You have the protective strip uh, film on it still. Okay. Let's see what else we get. The um, sun shield, just to be velcroed to it. Instructions. Battery straps, the Velcro to uh, stick onto the monitor, battery cables XT60 to XT and uh, XT to XT and AV cables so it's all like a wire lead you have assuming that's the sound and power and there's a video and another power read and the two antennas here's the screen back of the screen that's where the battery goes and the straps go through there you have the XT plug so if you're running XT60s that's why you have this one plugs in, you have your USB that's to update and here's where your AV cables go this is for video out or video in doesn't really say in the instructions and that's for power that's for power out <coughs> to power any other uh, devices you want to connect up to it um, and that's for your 5.8 antennas not sure how well you can see this that's the slot for the SD card micro SD and on off switch it's actually quite weighty um, it has a oh, it has that rubbery feel to it a bit like if you're familiar with the um, Mobius camera and the GoPros, I'm not sure about the great new GoPros but the 1 and 2 had that sort of rubbery grippy feel to it same sort of feel um, yeah not much really to say and there are the um, menu buttons and that's also a, a light sensor there for automatically sensing how bright it is outside and it adjusts to the brightness um, I have already used it outside just quickly in the full sunlight and you can easily see the picture if you had something like a phantom or a aerial photography where you're not flying fast and high precision it's quite easy to have your, you know, you put on your transmitter and quite easy to see it in the sunlight. And with the sun visor on there, I'm sure it'll make a make a difference. Um, I think the they could come up with a better option for the sun visor than just the Velcro it on. Um, now a lot of the Sky Zone ones are now coming in with built-in sun visors on there, which clip on, which I think is a, a better idea. 
those are quite neat. Uh, the battery strap, I haven't done that yet, so I'll do that now. Okay, got the straps on. So see if they go there. Now I don't know why they wouldn't just put that like that there. There, it was a bit of a hassle to get through, but I guess once it's on, you don't take them off. Run through like that. Put your battery in. Pull it tight. Let's get a battery and we'll try it. Twenty-two hundred three cell. Okay, pop that in. Pull the strap over. Now, the straps barely grab because I think they're too long and the actual rough part is too short. It needs to be rough part needs to be a bit longer for a 2200 anyway. If you've got a bigger pack, it might be okay, but I can't imagine you people will be putting bigger packs on. Okay, I've got the battery on. I've put the aerials on, switch it on, now I've still got the um, slip on and you can hear it's got sound, now it is very bright and we've got the battery voltage, the run time it's been on and this is the RSSI. So this is antenna number one, that's antenna number two. And so currently it's switched onto the antenna number two. RSSI is 8% and number one is 2%. You have a menu system. Let's see if I can do this. That goes to DVR. That goes to AV3 which is a source coming from outside and back to the FPV screen that's a quick help guide it tells you the channels which I think is pretty good it tells you all the channels so it's 32 channels and this tells you what the uh, dials do on the back and push it in we get our frequency it's currently on 5705 you can scan all frequencies um, format that's the volume the volume's quite loud Gamma, brightness, contrast, and so on. And right is on high at the moment. Low, auto, reset, exit. DVR menu. Zoom out. So when it comes, it comes in Chinese, and um, you can, if you look at the manual, it will tell you by the pictures what they look like and to get into English uh, there is a um, there is a, a video on YouTube telling you how to get it into English as well but in I like the idea of the RSSI for both antennas and which one you're using uh, I found that switching quite well I've already taken the, this film off but I just wanted to show that with the film on put it back on you can see the reflection take that off the screen has a very, has a very matte finish which would be great for outside I'd have to say so far I'm being pretty impressed with it it's got a great feel um, it doesn't feel cheap uh, I've had a cheaper 7 inch monitor just a generic generic one from um, eBay 30 bucks 
and yeah, the screen is terrible, the picture quality is bad, um, it's not bright at all, you can't even see it in, the, in any sunlight whatsoever. I found this one to be, the build quality seems to be, feel, it feels good in your hands, and um, and the picture quality so far for the short time I've quickly had a use of it, seems pretty good. Um, so, so far I'm impressed with that. DVR, i got to still work out. And the um, diversity seems to work pretty well. Switching over, done a test where I flew over, over, over the clover leaf and in the beam of the um, helical antenna. And when I went from one to the other, it would switch quite good. And the RSSI signal strength is pretty good um, to show up there. Um, so far, so good. So I will see you in part two where I will have some some DVR recordings and um, also showing the screen in full sunlight.